Have you ever wondered what type of development environment it takes to create today's high bandwidth applications? I'm very happy to show you the Xilinx VCU110 FPGA development kit in action managing an aggregate data rate of more than 1.4 terabit per second with no bit errors. First let's take a look at the VCU110 kit contents. The VCU110 kit includes the VCU110 board and an unprecedented set of high speed 28 gigabit per second interfaces including quad CFP4 interfaces, 8 channel backplane interface, 20 lane interlock and chip to chip interface, and dual 4 channel bullseye interfaces. Other key VCU110 board features include the Vertex Ultrascale VU190 FPGA, HMC serial memory, ROD RAM 3 memory, and dual FMC HPC interfaces for I.O. expansion. The VCU110 kit also includes loopback modules, cables, and boards to help users accelerate their design cycle. Now that you're familiar with the VCU110 kit contents, let's take a look at it in action and see it transmitting and receiving 1.4 terabit per second of data error-free. This demonstration utilizes the Vivado Design Suite development tool for creating a demo design and monitoring bit errors using the Vivado Hardware Manager. I've utilized Vivado to create a design that utilizes all 52 GTYs used by the interfaces we learned about earlier. The transmit side of the GTY is looped back to the receiver side of the corresponding GTY using the loopback cables, boards, and modules for the full list of kit contents or to order additional modules and cables, see the related products section on the VCU110 webpage, xilinx.com slash VCU110. The Ibert Ultrascale GTY core is the heart of this Vivado design. This core is designed to enable evaluation and monitoring of the GTY transceivers. This core includes pattern generators and checkers that are implemented in the FPGA. Communication logic is also included to allow the design to be runtime accessible through JTAG. Here's the iBrick core in action using the Vivado Hardware Manager. I've grouped the links by interface, four CFP4 interfaces first, followed by the interlocking interface and then the bullseye and backplane interfaces. Each GTY is transmitting a PRBS31 data pattern that loops back through the corresponding cable, module, or board to the GTY receiver. The iBrick core monitors the data for errors, and as you can see, all 52 links are running error-free. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Xilinx VCU-110 kit in action. To learn more or to purchase your VCU-110 kit, please visit xilinx.com slash VCU-110 today. Thank you.